हेलो 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 माय साउंड इज ऑडिबल यस सर ऑडिबल ओके शैल वी स्टार्ट द टुडे स्ट्रेंथ इज रीडिंग इट्स अराउंड 45 ओके वी विल कंटिन्यू तो लेट अस वी रिवाइज द प्रीवियस पार्ट्स एंड देन वी विल गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ द सेम चैप्टर्स दैट इज द जॉब इवैल्यूएशंस एंड मेरिट रेटिंग so last uh, two three lectures uh, we have gone through the work measurements content so in that first point is there that is what is the actual work measurements work measurement is nothing but techniques to establish the standard times for qualified workers to carry out the specified job at different level of performance this is actually definition of the work measurement then uh, we have gone through the object of work measurements to eliminate the downtimes in the industry fix the standard times for the jobs increase the productions productivity and reduce the cost improve the existing methods whatever method is going in that we will go for improvements uses of the work measurements anywhere in the industry shop any organization we can use this. then techniques of work measurement stopwatch methods production study work sampling so work sampling this is in our syllabus stopwatch methods uh, we have gone through the stopwatch methods then uh, pre determined motion time systems so this uh, we have studied brief in uh, stopwatch time study we have on uh, through this points Uh, like the procedures for uh, this time study selection of the jobs exam regarding breakdown see to the elements use of stopwatch methods and rating factors after that uh, we have gone through the calculation of standard times and how to calculate the standards for times for given jobs that is uh, observed times into rating plus allowances so five types of allowances we have seen last time that is the rest or personal allowance then process allowance contingency allowance special allowance and policy allowance and addition of this uh, we will get uh, the standard times after that we have gone through the uh, numerical problems related to standard times after that uh, we have gone through the work sampling and uh, last part that is pre determined motion time systems so here's pre determined motion time systems means uh, here so uh, we have gone through the various uh, motions of the body of the workers it contain reach move turn grasp position release engage disengage like this and uh, after this uh, we have completed the what is actually times measures that is the 1 tmu what is that in minutes uh, 0.006 minutes so like this mtm parts it it was there so uh, these things uh, we have covered in the last lectures now the last part of the chapter that is the uh, job evaluation and merit rating so what is actually job evaluation is the process to determine in systematic manners analytically the worth of each jobs in the organization based upon the set of carefully selected factors such as skill efforts and responsibility demanded by the jobs and translating these worth of jobs into mandatory terms like pay and wage system so what is actually job evaluation in industry this is a very important point from the industrial a uh, point of view job evaluation means we have to decide the worth of each job in industry uh, so many jobs are there for example pattern is the one of the jobs make the pattern casting forging rolling and uh, the press shop job so many jobs are there so what is actually worth of each jobs that we have to uh, calculate or we have to decide what is used to uh, calculate this thing main purpose to pay and decide the wages system means for one job how much amount will going to pay or if the worker is doing that things 
including that all uh, cost related parts should be in the worth of each job example in short uh, suppose we want to make a pattern for pulley so how much amount will going to pay for that uh, job so this is the actually evaluation part that is called a job evaluations means uh, in short you have to decide the worth of each jobs in order to decide the the payment system or wage system in the industry now what is the main objective of job evaluations the first objective to establish sound wages and salary system by determining the worth of each jobs in the factory in relations to the various factor like skill required effort and responsibility in all so i have given one examples of pattern making suppose we are making pattern for pulley so how much amount will going to pay so this is depends upon the skill required how we are going to manufacture uh, the pattern wooden pattern is there skill is required and if metal pattern is there so we can manufacture metal patterns by machines so here we can use the cnc vmc or any other uh, uh, machines for manufacturing of the product so if we are going to separate work if you are manufacturing so this is the point it is actually the objective of the job evaluation second point is there to eliminate the wages inequalities suppose two uh, patterns are there uh, how much will going to pay so this actually depends on this upon that we see the wage system okay but uh, everywhere the value it is expected give the person who are going this is important means for one job same worth should be there suppose we are making a drop any job to manufacture the product we have to give the same uh, worth relations general wages wage system means uh, generally we can uh, in respect of the specified product specified product means if we are uh, manufacturing the patterns patterns for uh, any engine parts so equal value should be there is it possible to then for this uh, we'll go to that uh, do to get it complete so in order to decide this we require the job evaluation then fifth point is that to formulate and appropriate and uniform wage structure once again same point is that it should be the economically and the worth should be uniform uh, the what we have decided uh, the value or worth for job it should be same for all and there should be specific structures any times we can take the jobs and we can do this but you will get the same work that uniform wages structure should be there then sixth point is to uh, to provide sound base for recruitment selection promotion transfer of employees now this is also very important if job evaluation is not there how how we can uh, go for recruitment how will uh, going to justify that person is suitable for uh, the particular job suppose we are uh, manufacturing the patterns so which person actually we required it a person having this much skill 
and uh, experiences like this and if you having good knowledge and uh, experience then uh, we can promote him for next uh, plant also transfer world is also there suppose uh, we are taking that person and doing a uh, good jobs we can get it transport to some others uh, uh, industrial unit so uh, to decide certain points in the appointments or recruitment or selection of the workers promotion of the worker transport to uh, other units of the um, industry we require this job evaluation then seventh to identify the training needs of the employee so as to prepare them for future position sometimes while making the uh, patterns or any other jobs we need to give the training which is the important the dimensional tolerance geometrical tolerance how we going to achieve this what is the first process of the manufacturing what actually need to do whether we will go for manually manufacturing of the sense or we can go on the machines if we will go on the machine there should need to go for programming to make the programs we will have to give the training to that person so uh, you have to identify the needs in the industry and accordingly uh, as per requirements we have to give the training to the employees for this purpose we require the job evaluation then eight point is there a sound base for individual performance for measurement sometimes in order to give the motivations incentive increments so under these conditions we uh, require to measure the individual performance now in industry so many workers are there so when we will going to go for increment incentive motivation in order to decide this points we require to justify the individual performance of the measurements uh, so how we will take the measurements by uh, the annually the work done or the skills after that the attendance after that uh, the output uh, uh, throughout the uh, month or throughout the years so this point actually we required and accordingly we will go for the uh, job evaluations and uh, last point is that to promote good employee employee employer relations so in industry there are two types of persons one is the management and second is the workers so management that is called employee and the worker who is working in that industry that is called employers so if you uh, avoid the inequalities uh, in industry related to your wage or salary system then uh, this uh, will remains good relations between the management and the workers if there is problems about the inequality in wages or salary system definitely the employers uh, they will become unhappy and there is there will not be good relations between managements and the workers in order to achieve these things uh, we require the job evaluation so uh, nine point here uh, i have given so once again uh, you have to remember this very simple thing is that main objective to decide the uh, waste systems or to avoid the inequality in waste system decide the wage structure in industry then uh, need to define the authority and responsibility uniform structures then the recruitment selection promotion or transfer of the employees promotion of the work uh, employees individual performance and uh, keeping the good relations between the management and the worker for this purpose we required job evaluation so opposite to this uh, if you think that if job evaluation is not there what will happen definitely there is a variation in wage structures there is a problem in the recruitment selection process not good relations between the management and uh, the workers individual performance we cannot justify and there is whole problems in industry about the wage structures or salary structures so there is a need of the job evaluations in the uh, industry so job evaluations means in short decide the worth of jobs in short you have to remember what is the job evaluation decide the worth of jobs and once we decide the worth 
uh, will uh, uh, covers this point means uh, wage inequalities responsibility authority uh, the recruitments then trainings and performance individuals and relations between the management and workers so these are the objective related to the job evaluation then next part is their procedure for job evaluations the first point is their job analysis so job analysis determine the detailed facts about the job one example once again you have to take the patterns so details fact there should be drawing we have to study about that drawing the materials geometry then the dimensional tolerance the various uh, fillets etc we have to go for analysis of the uh, job so this is the first job analysis means uh, before manufacturing uh, we have to go for this type of analysis pattern one example you have to uh, remember to make that patterns so what actual requirement is there analysis should be there so uh, material starting from the materials after that uh, drawings detail should be there detail dimension should be there the various views should be there and uh, the various tolerances then the various uh, geometric things actually required so all about that pattern we should know while making the analysis of the jobs then second is job description job description follow the job analysis after job analysis this job descriptions will be there it gives all essential facts about the jobs like duties responsibility working condition other required fact describe clearly requirements of the jobs so in order to manufacture these patterns what is actually requirements that should be there there should be toolings there should be assigned persons there should be working conditions where we can work suppose we make the patterns in the rainy season definitely warpage will be there so when we we'll, uh, manufacture this pattern it should avoid this climate condition so that warpage will not be there seasoning of the work should not be there if we are uh we'll make that uh, patterns by wooden so then who will going to make that patterns so this uh, job description will be there so uh, in industry uh, job description card is there so job numbers then materials then uh, the date of completions then who will going to these this uh, at what conditions we have to do this so this thing will be there in the your job description then third is their job specification it is the st statement of qualities capabilities that an employee must possess to perform the job satisfactorily specify the attributes possessed by the employees to complete the job satisfaction so uh, here job specifications means everything about the job it contains quality and capability for example our lathe machine is there what is the specification of lathe machines center height should be there maximum diameters of the jobs we can hold what is the blade length what is the threading side we going to manufacture so these are the job specification similarly in pattern making also job specification should be there what should be the um, specified uh, hours actually uh, required to manufacture this then uh, at how many component we can manufacture by using this patterns what is actually reliability durability and quality in the manufacturing of the job so the detailed specification should be there so this is called job specification in exam this uh, three points are very important the job analysis job description and job specification job analysis means what the jobs will going to manufacturers we can split into number of element analysis this put in put on the paper after that descriptions so who will going to the, do these jobs what is actually duty where we can do what is actually working hours when we require the jobs so job description will be there and job specification means capabilities or qualities 
so these two points uh, need to uh, give in the job specification the fourth point is their job classification determine the relative worth of jobs so depends upon worth you have to classify the jobs for this pattern this much worth or that pattern this much worth so this uh, actually we requires in the job evaluation if small size pattern is there we actually calculated worth is less if big job is there calculated worth is more so depends upon the jobs we can classify the worth then fifth wage uh, determination compare the jobs with predetermined jobs and arrive at suitable wage structures so after comparisons so after job uh, classification compare the jobs with predetermined jobs sometimes predetermined job is there and we can take the worth of the same jobs and arrive at the same point where we can decide the wage structure okay so here uh, we have to decide the wage determination parts uh, under the job evaluation and after that we will go for a manufacturing of the sense and after that evaluate the performance based upon job description and specification you have to decide the performance of the same okay so this is about the procedure of job evaluations six points are there job analysis job description job specification job classification wage determination evaluate the performance so six point you have to remember while in the job evaluations now here uh, a chart is given steps in job evaluations same things are there job analysis determine the detailed facts about the job same what the previous step it is there same points uh, whatever the six points are there according to these six points you can also refer the charts job analysis job description job specification job classification wage determination uh, determinations and evaluate the performance so uh, either you can put in this previous ppt or you can put these things in the charts both are same related to job evaluations same things are there then uh, job evaluation system job evaluation system should be simple and re readily understood by all the concerned there are four accepted system of job evaluations so here four systems are there to go for job evaluation system ranking method is there job classification systems are there factor comparisons methods are there point rating methods are there so this is the uh, theoretical parts we will not go deep into which methods how to calculate job evaluations only in our syllabus this uh, how many methods are there related to job evaluation these points will be there ranking methods rank we have to decide then job classification uh this the pattern making job is there casting job is there forging job is there you can classify it and decide the worth factor comparisons so which factor is uh, uh, which factor is actually requires to decide the worth of job and accordingly we can compare this point to point rating system for this job uh, out of 10 two marks out of 10 five marks this systems will be there job evaluation system theoretically parts we have covered so numerical problems will not come in this uh, our syllabus now rank even though some ranking points are there jobs are ranked in terms of their importance with respect to the level of duty and responsibility from the lowest to the highest any job is there we can rank 1 2 3 first rank second rank third rank this is depends upon level of duty and responsibility from the lowest to the highest correct so you have to give the number 1 2 3 this is ranking system then rank is decided by the committee one committee is in their industry for duties and responsibility how much rank shall we give 5 4 10 like this there is one committee this is most easiest and simple method steps in all in ranking method selection of the job job analysis 
choosing the committee for ranking job ranking of the job grouping the job into group by committee so there is one uh, committee also we can decide the rank for each and every job and accordingly we can give the rank and depends upon the rank we will go for uh, job evaluation the advantages of uh, this ranking method that is simple less time consuming less prepare work is that once committee is there the only times less time is required limitation the lack of uh, standard criteria for ranking job are less accurate so there is uh, no actually uh, standard calculation is required for this uh, the committee members will decide the rank for each jobs and accordingly we can make the ranking system so this system is uh, uh, not that much accurate this is the limitation application where only limited jobs to be analyzed so where we can use uh, this system whenever there is a batch production is there job production is there we can use this ranking methods then job classification system allocated jobs to cards which are predetermined so the steps are there decide and describe the number of grades grading system is there number one grade second grade just in quality controls uh, a1 grade b1 grade like this grade system is there and for a grades uh, describe the why that a grade is there b grade there why that b grade is there so means certain quality control related points should be there uh, according to this we will go for the job classification write grade level description so a grade is there so what is actually importance of the a grade b level is there what is the importance of this c level is there what is this thing will be there listing of jobs to be evaluated we can make the list of the job for evaluating and grading system assign the jobs to be grades based upon grades and job level description according to grading system you can assign the jobs and do the works accordingly next factor comparison methods five factors are there uh, mental factors skill requirement physical requirement responsibility and working conditions if you are doing any jobs you can justify before giving the authority or responsibility how that person's uh, uh, behaviors mentally efforts how much you will going to take what is skill of that person physically it is compatible to do that work shall we give the responsibility or not in which conditions we can perform the jobs either in summer ac or uh, in the open environment this uh, factors you have to consider under comparison parts then next factor company is the steps in all is this key jobs are identified key jobs means important jobs are identified that present each major level of duties responsibility and skill same point is there uh, where we can assign the jobs that we have to decide responsibility what he will do this works within the given period and what is his skill key jobs are analyzed for each five factor salary paid by each key jobs and the apportioned factors should be considered uh, for the same then fourth point is their wage paid for key jobs apportioned by factors I means uh, we can give certain factors to this key point should be there each jobs evaluated for each of the factor on money rating scale of the key jobs means uh, in short uh, this actually we require the worth of jobs and accordingly wages system will be there key points should be there accordingly the wages system should be there so these points you have to consider as well factors comparisons methods point in rating methods next uh, decide the type of jobs to be evaluated first of all you have to decide which jobs will go for point rating select the factors defi definition of the factors define the degrees of factor 1 2 3 4 like assign the weightage system to that factor for one numbers uh two numbers three like this 
then assign the points to the degree 1 to 2 like this 2 to 40 like this so for 120 240 360 485 100 like this points you have to give weightage system prepare the job evaluation manuals prepare the job description job specification rating of the jobs and place the jobs into grades so in short uh, you have to remember the weightage system for one job this much weightage, second job, this much weightage, and you have to uh, put in the orders according to the uh, grading system. Okay, so this point, it is very important while giving the salary system. For example, uh, any worker having good skill and they are doing that particular job. So that means we will give the first grades. If the any workers having that much capabilities or not there less skill is there and they are doing certain jobs less skill job we we can give the uh, next uh, grading system so this should be in the points and convert into the grade a b c d like this it will comes under the point rating then point rating method advantage is more accurate reliable, reliable compared to others more objective due to the qualification of factor it is logically practicable and good acceptably so point rating system means uh, for one jobs how many points out of 10 two jobs how many points so this is very easy and we can uh, make use of this system and which is uh, acceptable universally in the uh, shop floors then limitation of this method requires large experience and experience expertise to define the degree and points here uh, there is no any the statistics or any um, uh, that numerical things to decide the wage uh, systems only just by expert committee we can give the point and uh, according to this point uh, we can uh, give the grading system rating system but uh, to give this grading and rating system the person who is going to decide this that person having a good experience and expert in that field so that he will give the points points allocated to degrees are arbitrary so these two points is actually limitations points in the point rating so up till now we have gone through the uh, job evaluation so once again i will uh, repeat uh, which point you have to remember in the job evaluation job evaluations it is actually decide the worth of jobs and uh, what is the objective of job uh, evaluations that i have given after that the various methods in the job evaluations grading system point system means ranking system comparison method is there and there is the committee we can decide the job evaluation so this job relations this part is related to our uh, job not the related to uh, man's or employees so this is the basic difference between a job evaluation and merit rating merit rating it is actually decided and uh, calculated based upon the work and this is related to the workers merit rating this is related to the workers not related to the uh, jobs so the this basic uh, difference is there merit rating let us we see the merit rating and after this once we'll cover uh, this uh, merit rating parts then we'll go for comparisons of job evaluation and merit rating this much we have to remember examination point of difference between job evaluation and merit rating at last this point we're going to cover so brief uh, description of merit rating merit rating is also called performance appraisals job evaluation evaluate the jobs merit rating assess the worth of person performing the job so this uh, two three lines that is very important merit rating it is also called performance appraisals means what is actually performance that particular person is doing in the workshop his performance appraisals we have to make means we have to check the performance of the workers so this is called merit rating 
and job evaluations it is related to evaluate the jobs so once again i will repeat job evaluation this is related to the job and merit rating it is related to person okay check the performance of the person this is major difference between job evaluation and merit rating so merit rating person job evaluation job both job evaluation and performance appraisals are aims at systematically determine the wage rates paid to the employees so in short in third point it is given so what is the importance of the job evaluation and merit rating very simple thing to decide the wage structure to avoid the inequality in wages system to decide the salary of the workers otherwise if job evaluation and merit rating is not there how we can decide the wages system means how much rupees will going to pay for particular workers what is the monthly salary for workers okay so you know to decide these things we required job evaluation and merit rating okay so de determine the wage structure wage rate salary etc that will going to pay for the employee in order to decide this we required the job evaluation and merit rating in industry first you have to decide the job evaluation and then merit rating job evaluation related to job merit rating related to performance of the workers and depends upon this we have to decide the wages system salary system incentive bonus motivational promotion everything we will going to decide on basis of these two points now benefits of merit rating uh, so six benefit it is given here so what is the benefits of merit rating so first benefit useful in rewarding the person and reward can be linked to the performance so suppose uh, i want to give reward to any persons then we required this job evaluation and merit rating useful in rewarding the person and rewards can be linked to the performance i want to give the incentive i want to give motivation how we can decide we require this merit rating second point is there helps to identify helps to identify the persons potential to perform the assign the jobs and to decide the future position he can take up so what is actually potential in that person means capability of that person we have to identify and uh, accordingly we can think about the features as the how much facility we will going to add related to him this point in is our second point third point is that to identify the training needs of the employees sometimes uh, in industry while doing the work so you will face the problems some workers are doing a nice jobs but some workers having certain problems while doing the job so those having the problems how we can identify by merit rating or by using the performance appraisal uh, for which workers will will going to give the training we have to identify to identify the training needs of the employees is there need of training how we can justify by using uh, this merit rating or performance appraisal so next name of merit rating that is performance appraisals then fourth point is that helps in counseling the employees regarding their strength and weakness now by uh, performance uh, appraisals uh, we will uh, going to conclude that what is the strength and weakness which major point is there positive points in that worker which are the negative points in the worker so this thing uh, only we will going to decide under the merit rating then fifth it motivates the employees to perform the better suppose the uh, uh, performance appraisal is good we can provide the incentive motivates and this will helps to perform the better means efficiency of the working will get increased uh, for 
increasing that efficiency we can provide certain points certain incentive motivation upgradation so many things are there to motivate the workers to perform the better and if we will not provide so, so sometimes the workers will remain unhappy then their performance will uh, bad performance and ultimately effect on the production and productivity so every workers need to satisfy uh, what actually he is doing the work in the, that field six point is that act as constructive performance appraisal system act as constructive performance appraisal system this is actually a uh, road required to check the performance of the workers it is one of the acts in the industry for checking the performance appraisal system it is one of the system to check the performance of the uh, worker so these are the benefit of merit rating so here say you have to remember about all about the workers rewarding taking capability of the person need of the trainings then uh, is, uh, what is the strength and weakness of the workers how that workers will perform better way and need to make use of the performance appraisal system in that particular uh, industry so this is actually a uh, benefit of merit rating so here methods are there whatever methods we have seen in the job evaluation same methods are there ranking method is there paired comparison method is there force to choice method checklist method and scale pan is there ranking as per rank 1 2 3 like this you have to classify the worker paired comparison method means one workers we have to compare with other worker sometimes there is need to force to do that work four choice method checklist methods you can prepare the certain points on the papers and give to the worker and ask them to uh, tick over that point checklist method and scale plan is there so scale plans means actually measurement is there in order to check the performance this is about the method of merit rating so five methods are there first is uh, this ranking methods conventionally and easy methods employees are ranked in order of best to worst so this is the ranking methods and all employees are ranked in order to uh for, from the best to worst method means the uh, best to worst first second like this applicable in industry few workers means uh, our supervisors are there so for supervisors we can make use of this or some of the workers limitation cannot indicate specific strength and weakness so it is actually uh, based in a group maybe supervisor groups workers group management groups for this ranking method is useful and in this groups we cannot uh, justify the individual strength and weakness becomes dic uh, difficult as the number of employees increase so if uh, more uh, employees are there so, uh, 1000 2000 we cannot use this ranking methods the next is paired comparison methods rater compare each employees in group with all remaining employees so first employee we have to compare with others suppose four five lates are there so who is doing good jobs that persons we can compare with other person and find out the certain points then depends upon this we can decide the merit rating perform is only parameters in the comparison how that person is going to perform his work this is only one parameter in this and becomes difficulty to compare if the group is large so if group is large more than 500 groups are there so one com uh, one person first person we can uh, we cannot compare with the 415th person so it is lengthy process and uh, it is time consuming and it is very difficult in the uh, industry but small 
worker group is there so we can go for 10 workers are there so we can go for comparison then first choice for each trait or behavior number of statements are given Raters are required to select only one statement and which describe the particular behavior of the employees being evaluated. In this method, raters are forced to choose or check only one statement and not allowed to describe. Most popular method used for rating of lower credit staff. So here, uh, forced to choose any one thing to decide the performance of the workers and it is forceful methods and uh, most popular method used for rating lower predator staff means the uh, uh, the helpers are there or the uh, clerks are there for that uh, workers we can use this four choice methods then next uh, checklist methods made up of series of question and statement which are concerns mm -hmm. about the important aspect of the employees and performance we can put uh, the certain points on the papers to check that and ask them to tick over this. So this is the checklist method. So this is about the merit rating. So today uh, we have completed the job evaluations and merit rating part. So next lectures we're going to see what is actually difference between job evaluation and merit rating. Thank you.